Hello Twins Alive, it's been a long time since we last spoke and it's good to engage you all again, not in this kind of circumstance, but yeah, it's good to engage you all. How have you all been? How are you coping with this restricted movement? I believe that you guys are bored, tired and can't wait for this to be over and to be honest it's the same with uncle, can't wait for this to be over. Well, if you look at it in a more positive way, this restricted movement has done us some good. Uh, we now have more time to do things that we never thought or we never we claim that we never had time to do before. For example, spending time with family, dinner together with family, even reading and obviously reading the Bible. Now, how, what about you guys? Have you taken the time to spend more time reading the Bible that you have more time at home now? Hmm, something for you to ponder on. Anyway, let's come to today's lesson. Today's lesson will focus on our relationship with God through Jesus' death on the cross. Today's lesson will be taken from the book of Mark chapter Mark chapter 14 verse 55 to 65 and Mark chapter 15 verse 1 to 47 Mark chapter 14 verse 55 to 65 and Mark chapter 15 Mark ch chapter 15 verse 1 to 47 these are very long verses and I don't want to spend the time today to read it and I trust that you will have time to read it in your home uh, given that you have more time at home now. Last week we learned from Uncle, Uncle Adrian's lesson that Jesus knew that by dying on the cross he would drink the cup of God's anger for sin and it would be awful. Jesus still went ahead and because he knew it was God's plan for him, Jesus was obedient. Today, we are going to see that events that happened showed Jesus' continued obedience as he submits to being unfairly tried, ill-treated and brutally killed. It is only in his death that he is finally recognized by a Roman centurion to be the Son of God. We will see that God satisfies his need for justice and extends a hand of friendship to people who have rebelled against him. As you read in the book of an account of Mark in the Bible, you will, you will know or you come across that Jesus was hurt in numerous ways. Number one physical hurt that he experienced. We have not experienced the pain and hurt but I can only imagine the pain of being whipped, being cane and carrying the cross across town and eventually being hung on it. Number two, besides the physical hurt, Jesus was also mocked and also spat at. I'm not sure how I would react if I was in that position. And number three, I think above the physical hurt and the mockery, the thing that hurt Jesus the most is that his Abba Father, placing on him the punishment for the sins of the whole world. Yes, he was asked to bear the sins of the whole world upon him. If you remember from Uncle Adrian's lessons last week, in his prayer at the Garden of Gethsemane, in Mark chapter 14, verse 36, he prayed, God, that remove this cup from me, yet not what I will, but your will be done. He has asked God that he does not take the sin 
does not take the cup of God's anger or sin. As the Bible told us, Jesus took the cup and was subsequently crucified on the cross. Now, let's take a step back and ask, why did Jesus do what he did? He did it because he was obedient to God. Yet not what I will, but your will be done. God's will be done. That's Jesus' obedience. More importantly, Jesus' death on the cross makes our friendship with God now possible. Let me try to explain this in a different way. Let's assume that we have Lego bricks or wooden building blocks and these are built as barriers between God and us. These barriers are sin that separates us from God and these sins need to be punished. Remember in our previous lesson where Jesus took the cup of punishment, the barrier is broken down. The barrier is broken down. We are not automatically friends with God. We can only become friends with God if we trust in Jesus and in his death. That Jesus died for your sin and my sin. Jesus died on the cross for your sin and my sin. <clears throat> Let me leave that with you. Please read your Bible and reflect on the lesson today on the two on Mark chapter 14 and Mark chapter 15. Jesus died for our sins so that we can be friends with God. Come, let's pray. Lord, thank you for this time despite the circumstances. We can still come together as twins alive. Thank you for giving your Son, your one and only begotten Son, to die on the cross for our sins. And through his death, that we can now call you Abba, Father, and a friend. Help us, Lord, to share this good news with our families, members, and our friends. Thank you for this time. In Jesus' name, Amen. See you next week, twins. Bye-bye.